G'day viewers, I'm going to talk to you today about the Australian Government's ongoing war against the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, the ABC, and specifically the program q and I talked a little while back about how they were making a big thing about, oh, this guy had been accused of terrorism, he was on the show and said a bad thing. Anything could happen, because the party of free speech doesn't like people saying things that they don't like. Like, it's free if they tell you it's acceptable. Otherwise, no, it's a very big problem if things are said that they don't agree with. Because that's how they define free speech, apparently. Well, it's gone one step further with yesterday, Prime Minister Tony Abbott decreeing that none of his front bench ministers are allowed to go on Q&A until after this investigation goes on, which is just fucking stupid. Now, I actually wasn't going to do this as a video today. I was going to, for the first time in my month of vagina, uh, I was going to talk about something apart from the federal government. But the story got better when it dragged in the minister for killing celebrities' dogs. Yes, Barnaby Joyce, the guy who got a bit of international attention for threatening to have Johnny Depp's dogs put down. You see, it was later on Sunday that Tony Abbott said no ministers on Q&A. Problem being, earlier on Sunday on a TV program, Barnaby Joyce said he was going on Q&A. So Abbott's decision seems to have been made like all of his decisions. It's stupid, it's petulant, it's pathetic, and he's made the decision suddenly, unilaterally, and without consulting anyone. Because Joyce is now faced with eating the big shit sandwich of saying, I'm going on Q&A. Oh no, he said I'm not allowed to. I don't have free will. I have to do what he says. And the article where I first read that had some of the funniest phrasing I've ever seen because this morning Joyce was at the National Press Club talking about an agriculture bill and people pressed him on the matter and it's worded in this article as in language that suggests a robust conversation with the Prime Minister happened on Sunday. Code for, we all assume, Joyce went in with the fuck are you making me look like a dickhead for? Why would you do that? Why would you not before opening your fucking mouth and saying whatever shit comes into your head? Why would you not consult on who's affected by this? Because now I look like a prick when you're the one being a prick. It's just hilarious. I have no idea how long Abbott's going to survive. Because his whole caucus has said previously, no more captain's calls. No more just saying shit without consulting with anyone. And yet, he continues to do it. And this time, he's made one of his supporters, Barnaby Joyce, look stupid. And Joyce is clearly pissed off. Although, he tries to pretend he's not. No, no. In this job, you've got to be tough. got to take it on the chin. Would I like to have been told sooner? Yes. Would I like to have made... Not to look like such a total prick? Yeah, that would have been preferable. But when he got pressed on, well, what was it? You know, did he say what would happen if you went up against him? And <laughs> Joyce rushes to go, oh no, there's no threat. No threat. So we have someone like Abbott and feeling compelled to say there was no threat. There were obviously threats. Like you couldn't make it more obvious that there were threats that just coming in, no, 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 did you threaten me? Threaten? What, what in this guy's history of constantly bullying people makes you think there'd be a threat? <laughs> no, no threat, not here, no threat. Crazy talk, why are you obsessed about this? Why are you obsessed about the Prime Minister being a petty asshole, making me look like an idiot and clearly threatening me? Where, where's the story in this? I don't understand you journalists. Why do you think this is a thing? And the story is not over yet, because not only did Joyce get caught up in this, but also prior to that, communications minister and person who clearly wants to replace the prime minister, Malcolm Turnbull has previously said he was going to go on Q&A next week. Now, Turnbull hasn't said anything publicly yet about whether or not he's going to go on next week 
or whether he'll knuckle under to Abbott. This will be interesting because Turnbull has multiple times in the last year made statements contradicting the Prime Minister, which is clearly going, fuck you, buddy, I'm just waiting until I can knock you off. So this is an interesting test because Abbott has said point blank, no minister can go on the show. That was after Turnbull had publicly said he will go on the show. So now Turnbull is faced with either, will I back down and eat shit like Barnaby Joyce or will I start a really big shit fight in my own party? I, for one, can't wait to see. Because when you don't like this government, that is very much a win-win situation. And so, video every day, July, if nothing arises, continues. Uh, I was honestly, I'm, I'm for real, I was going to do something else. There, uh, If the government doesn't do anything else astoundingly stupid or hilarious, uh, there'll be other topics this week. But if you know this government, there's a fair chance they're going to do stuff that I will be talking about. I wanted to get while the topic's hot, basically. So, yes, if you're enjoying the video every day, uh, or if this is the first one you've seen, there's heaps more. There will be heaps more as I attempt to do a video every day in July, if nothing arises. So if you like it, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, share on the social media with your friends, the Twitters, the Facebooks, whatever you young people are into, okay? It's all beyond me. But tell your friends. Yeah, as the people often ask me, what can we do to support you? Tell your friends. That is the single best thing you can do. Because obviously, uh, the more people who see what I do, the better for me. Uh, and I will see you again real soon.